Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Advanced Excel for Visually Impairment by Accessible Computing YouTube channel. Accessible Computing Access to Technology with Accessibility. In today's episode, we are going to learn about the GoTo dialog box. With the help of GoTo dialog box, you can do lots of stuff in MS Excel. If you already know what is the GoTo dialog box, you can skip this video. But if you want to learn what is the GoTo dialog box, watch the video till the end. Let's start today's episode. So I have already opened a demo sheet. Demo.xlsxxl. This is the demo sheet which I have created for this video tutorials. So go to dialog bus is specially used to find and go to any specific cell. Suppose you want to go to the cell number C75. If you want to go to the cell by using up arrow key, down arrow key or left arrow key, right arrow key, it takes so much time but, but you can go easily this cell by using go to dialog box. Also you can select multiple cells by using go to dialog box and also you can select a cell range. Suppose you want to select a cell from A1 to C1 or A1 to E1 or A1 to A67. So every cells you can select by using go to dialog box. Let's see one by one. To open the go to dialog box you have to press Ctrl plus G. Now I am going to or I want to go to uh, cell number B37. So let's see how to go. I am pressing Ctrl plus G. Go to dialog, go to reference, edit alt plus R blank. In reference you have to type the cell number, total cell number B. B. 35 means 35. Three, if I press enter, then I can directly go to that cell. I'm pressing enter. Demo.xlsxxl, sheet 1 table, B35. Yes, I'm in now B35. So I'm pressing left arrow. A35. A35, I'm pressing right arrow. B35. B35. So I can easily reach the targeted cell which I want. Now, next option is selection. I want to select the cell from A35 to D35. Okay. So how to do this? I'm go to, going to go to dialog box. Go to dialog, go to reference, edit alt plus R selected C1. So now I am just typing A12. A. Okay. Sorry, uh, A35. 35. Colon. A35. Colon. E35. E35. Now I'm pressing enter and after press enter, please listen carefully the uh, screen readers. Okay. Please listen carefully. Demo.xlsxxl. Sheet 1 table. A35 through E35. Selected row 35 column 1. Okay. So, which means A35 to E35 has been automatically selected. If I want to apply anything, I can apply. This selection is a cell range. It's called a cell range. A35 to E35 or A35 to A75. Like this is called a cell range. You can easily select any cell range, whatever you want. Okay, by using go to dialog box. There are one more option. Suppose I want to select B1, C2, A17, C65 and uh, one more another cell. How to do this? Let's see. I'm going to go to dialog box. Go to dialog, go to reference, edit alt plus R selected B35. Type dollar a dollar a dollar a dollar one zero minute i mean ten one zero comma n comma dollar, dollar c c c dollar dollar thirteen or twelve twelve one two twelve comma, co dollar dollar d e. D dollar seventy-five. I'm pressing enter. Demo dot xlsxxl sheet one table a ten through a twelve selected row ten column one. Okay, so <clears throat> this way you can also select multiple cells. D D seven. Go to dialog. I'm pressing tab here. I'm in go to dialog box. Go to special button alt plus s. Special button. Let's see what are the options in special. Space. Go to special dialog. Select comments radio button checked alt plus c. Comments means if you press enter here, the cells with comments will appear in front of you. I'm pressing down arrow. Constance radio button checked Constance. alt plus a formula radio button checked alt plus f. If you want to see, okay, so uh, I want to see on the cells where formulas are applied. So you can choose this option. Blanks radio button checked alt plus k. If you want to find the blank cell of your uh, sheet, 
you can easily search current region radio button current check region plus R. current array radio button checked out plus current R. array row differences radio button row checked differences out plus w. column differences radio button checked out plus m column differences precedence radio button checked out dependence radio button checked out plus d last cell radio button checked out plus s if you want to go to last cell visible cells only radio button checked out plus y excel has the option to unhide and hide your rows and columns i will show you later but uh if you want to see only the visible cells, you can choose this option. Objects radio button checked out Objects. plus D. Conditional formats radio button checked if out plus D. If any conditional formats applied, so the only the cells with conditional formatting uh, has been showing. Okay, I am not showing you because I will discuss it later. Data validation radio button checked out plus D. Data validation is a very very big chapter, so I will discuss it later. So if any cells apply data validation, if you want to search it, you can choose this option. Comments radio button checked out plus Okay, C. these all Demo are the advanced level or special options in go to dialog box. So let's see, is there any other options in go to dialog box? Go to dialog, go to go to special button, okay button, cancel reference, edit alt plus demo dot. No, there is uh, no another any other options in go to dialog box this is all about go to dialog box i hope you can learn you can understand everything about go to dialog box in ms excel just please type in the into the comment section below that what you have learned from this session i want to see your comment so don't forget to comment into, into the comment section and uh, thank you for watching this video if this video is helpful for you so don't forget to like this video and share with your friends and family see you in the next episode till then stay safe take care bye bye